Hey Warriors, in this video we are looking at the cross or Yakazuki, that backhand still, but we're looking at moving forwards like the last video but adding in slipping on the inside and slipping on the outside. Now if you haven't done lots of slips or you're not 100% sure on slips, I'd say pause the video and go back through either the jab video with slips because we talk about it in detail there or even go through our slip video that's only a short video that shows you the difference between an inside slip and outside slip and then you can crack back on with this lesson. So enjoy the lesson and hope you uh, find it useful. I'm going to go on this angle so you can see me well. The first one we're going to do is we're going to slip to the inside then throw the cross, so a slightly defensive way. We're going to slip to the inside, so remember the inside of my body, I'm then going to cross, so here I'm going to slip and cross and punch and step at the same time. So you see here, I slip on the inside and cross and punch and I step that front leg forward at the same time. So get your guards up, self ready, so from here slip on the inside, one, now front leg goes forward as I punch the Yakazuki, now I come back. From there, slip on the inside, I strike. I could always then come up and start mixing the two bits together the way there. So what I did then was I went forward, I slipped on the inside, punched and stepped forwards. Now as I drew this hand back, now I stepped up to shuffle forwards. So it's kind of mixing the different ways and different entry points of what you've got. What you've got. But get the three basics first and then we'll go from there. So let's do these to count, one to 10. So from here, guard up, so we're gonna go to the inside of the slip. Here, so slip from here, I step forward and punch. Good, now I'm gonna come back to that foot. Knee, so slip on the inside, strike one and come back. Sam, slip on the inside and strike forward and come back. She, slip and strike as you move. Go, slip and strike. Rock, slip and strike. Sitch, Ash, slip and strike. Kerr, slip and strike. And jur, slip and strike. Change your stance. Now let's do 10 on this side, ready? Itch, so slip to the inside, and then we're gonna step through and strike. So let's have a couple of practices. So we're gonna slip to the inside, step and punch, Yakazuki. Ready, one more, slip to the inside, step and punch. So think about that long tummy line, slight draw in the navel, belly button from here. Itch, slip to the inside, then step forward and strike Yakazuki. Knee, slip and strike. Sand, slip and strike. She, slip and strike. Go. Rock. Sid, she slips the inside and strike. Ash. Kerr. And Jer. And here I am there. Step forwards. From there, we're now going to do where we do the different step up. So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go slip to the inside strike, now pull myself forward with my front leg, yeah? This time I'll go on this angle, so you can see in my stance, so from here, I'm gonna slip to the inside, so slip to your inside, one, now throw the cross, and now as I pull this arm back, step the front leg forwards, and then come up, and make sure you've got a shortish stance. So from here, I slip on the inside, I strike, as I come back, now from there, I'm gonna pull my arm back, step up with the front leg and then step up with the back leg. So from here, slip on the inside, strike, from there, step up and through. Ready, let's do it to count. It's inside, strike, step up and through. Knee, inside, strike, the Yakazuki, step up and through, leading with the front leg. Sheep, strike, oh sorry, slip, strike, then pull myself in. Go, slip on the inside, strike, step up and through. Rock, slip, strike, step up and through. Sid, slip, strike, step up and through. On that pull, pull yourself into it. Ash, slip, strike, pull yourself into it. Kerr, slip, strike, pull yourself into it. And one more. And Jer, slip, strike, pull yourself into it. Change your stance. So remember you slip into the inside, the inside of your foot. So we slip, short stance, itch, slip, we strike. Now we pull this arm back and we step that leg forwards and then up with the back leg. Ready? Knee on the inside, strike, front leg goes forwards. From here, back leg comes up. Shortish stance. San, slip, strike, step in as you pull the cross back, Yakazuki back, and then up with the back foot. She, slip, strike, pull yourself in. Go, slip, strike, pull yourself in. Rock, slip, strike, pull yourself in. Sidge, slip, strike, pull yourself in with the front leg. Ash, slip, 
strike, pull yourself in, that's a bit early there. Curve, slip, strike, front leg moves. One more, and just slip, strike, pull yourself in. So now our last way is to go slip, strike, come up with the back leg. It's very similar, but just this time using the back leg, okay? So let's have a couple of practices. So I slip, strike, pull my arm back. As I do so, I bring up my back leg and then shuffle my front leg forwards. So I'm gonna put my front leg in the hoop this time. My front leg in the hoop, and then you might see that my back leg comes up in the hoop as well. So for me, I can have a slightly longer stance if I wanted to, but I don't have to. Slip to the inside, strike with a cross. Now pull this arm back, step in, and then I can push out that hoop. Ready? So front foot in the hoop. So slip to the inside. I strike, I come up with the back foot, and then out. From here, one more practice. Slip to the inside, strike, pull up, and then through. This time to count. Ready? Front foot in the hoop. Hitch, strike, pull yourself through. Remember, leading with the back leg. Knee, slip to the inside, strike, pull yourself through. Sam, slip, strike, pull yourself through. She, slip, strike, pull yourself through. Go, slip, strike, pull yourself through the back leg. Rock, slip, strike, pull yourself through the back leg. Ah, uh, sitch, up through. Ash, slip, strike, pull yourself through. Kerr, slip, strike, pull yourself through. And Jer, slip, strike, pull yourself through. Change your stance, other leg in the hoop this time. So I've got the hoop a little bit off to my side. So it's not like right in the middle of me, it's a little bit towards where my lead leg is. Ready, so from here, slip, strike, pull yourself into the hoop with the back leg as you pull your arm back. Knee, slip, strike, pull yourself in, okay? One more practice. From there, slip, strike, pull yourself in. Okay, so from there, let's go through the whole thing one to, one to 10 times, ready? Hitch, slip, strike, pull your hand back, back leg comes up, through. Knee, slip, strike, pull yourself in, through. Sand, slip, strike, pull yourself through. She, slip, strike, pull yourself through. Go, slip, strike, pull yourself through. Rock, slip, strike, back leg comes up. Rock, slip, strike, push through. Sitch. Ash. Kerr. And one more, and Jer. Strike and through. From here, we now need to do the outside slips. So I'm gonna start this way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside slip, but this time it's a much more attacking slip for the cross. So we're gonna go outside slip, but as I do it, I'm gonna step forwards and strike here. So it could be seen also as more like an overhand strike, but we're still looking at it as a yakazuki. So I'm gonna take my head off line to the outside. As I do that, I step my front leg forwards and I strike with my yakazuki, my backhand. Ready, so look, so we slip to the outside and strike and we go straight into it. So this one's a bit more fluid because we go in and move, I just lean my head off the side. So it's much like the beginning ones, just step forward and strike, but as you do it, lean your head off the center line. Ready to count. Itch. Knee. Stand. Sheet. Go. Rug. Sitch. And ash. Chain stance on the other side, remember. Step forwards as you strike the cross, take your head off line. You could even put your chin and behind your shoulder so it's nicely, so it's not up, he not up here, but it's nicely tucked away so it's one less thing to be hit. Ready? So step in and strike off to the side. Step in, head lean. Lean, curve your body over, ready? Hitch, so step and strike. Knee, sun, sheet, go, rock, sitch, ash, and jerk. Now we're going to move on to this next way. So remember, I'm, I'm trying to keep the videos not too long. So if you're struggling with that, go back over it yourself and, and do pause it, do more time on it. Or just focus on that for a bit here. So you could even just keep that momentum going as I count. Don't worry about what I'm doing now unless you feel you're ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip and strike 
And that, as I do that slip and strike, as I put my hand back, I move my front leg forwards. You ready? So we're going to slip to the outside as we strike. Then from here, pull my hand back, I step forwards with that front leg. Remember? Short stance. So I'm here, I slip and strike, pull myself in and forwards. From here, slip and strike to the outside, I pull myself forwards, pushing off that back leg. Ready to count. Ish. Me. Slip out to that side. Sam. Sheep. Remember that front leg works. Sheep. Oh, so go, pull it up, and then pull back. As you pull back, pull that front leg forwards. Contralateral movement. Um, rock, slip, strike, pull yourself in. Sitch, in and through. Remember, slip off to the outside. Ash, slip and through. Kerr, and jur, slip and strike and pull yourself through. Change your stance on the other side. So remember from here, we're going to slip and strike Yakazuki to the outside. Then as I pull this hand back, I'm going to step into the hoop with the front leg. Front leg's going to lead the movement. So I strike one, from here pull it back, and pull myself in. Ready? Hitch, one, pull yourself in. Then the back foot comes up. Knee, slip and strike, pull yourself in. Sun, slip and strike, pull yourself in. Sheet, slip and strike, pull yourself in, pushing off that back leg. Go, slip and strike, push off that back leg, which I emphasise at that time. Rock, slip and strike, now push off that back leg. Sitch, slip and strike, pull yourself in. Ash, slip and strike, pull yourself in. Kerr, slip and strike, pull yourself in. And one more, and jur, slip and strike, pull yourself in. So now our final way is to go from here, is to go slip and strike to the outside. As I pull my hand up, I step forward with the back leg. So slip and strike to the outside, pull my front hand back, step up with the back leg. So let's have a couple of practices first. From here, I'm going to start with my front foot in the hoop. I strike one, slip into the outside. I'm going to pull my back leg up and free. Start with my front leg in the hoop. Strike one, pull myself up and free. Ready? It, slip and strike, pull myself up and through. So as I pull my arm back, I pull my back leg up. Knee, slip and strike. Now pull yourself here. So the same side work against each other. So my hand pulls back, my leg pulls up and through. Sam, it's a slip and strike, pull myself through. She, slip and strike, pull myself through. Go, slip and strike, pull myself through. Rub. Sitch, from the back legs coming up first. Ash. Kerr. One more. And jur, through. And change your stance on the other side. So let's have a couple of practices. So it could be a slightly longer stance this time. So I slip and strike to the outside. Pull my back leg up. Remember, I want my front leg in the hoop, even I forgot then. So slip and strike one here, pull myself up and through. Ready? Slip and strike to the outside, pull myself up and through. Ready to count. Hitch. Knee. Sand. Sheep. Go. Rock. Sitch, Ash, Kerr, whoa, nearly took myself out that time, foot got this caught in, uh, we'll do it again, Kerr, strike up and through, one for the bloopers, and one more, and Jer, strike up and through. So there we've done all our three different ways of entering into the hoop, we did Yakazuki in step, we did Yakazuki and step the front leg, we did Yakazuki and step the back leg. So now let's take it to eight inside slips, any way to move in. So just going to slip to the inside. So we're either going to slip to the inside and then strike. We're going to slip to the inside, strike, then move the front foot. Or we're going to slip to the inside, strike, and then move the back foot. Ready? Itch. So slip to the inside, strike, and then choose your movement method. Here. Knee. So strike here, and then come up. Sun, slip to the inside and come through. She, slip to the inside and then come through. Go, slip to the inside, then come through in a way. Rock, slip to the inside, strike, then come through. Sitch, slip to the inside, then come through. And uh, slip to the inside, then come through in your movement method. Change your stance, same thing. Into the inside, itch, to so slip their movement through. 
knee. So I step the front foot, front first, foot first. San, stick to the inside, strip, then I did it at the same time. She, go. Back foot that time. Rock, back foot time again. Sitch, move it to the inside. And ash, slip, then I come through and strike. So now we're gonna do one to eight, go slipping to the outside. So slip into the outside each time. Guard up, so I'm either gonna go slip and strike, to the outside and step forwards, or I'm gonna go slip to the outside and strike, and move my front leg forwards, or I'm gonna slip and strike to the outside, and then move my back leg. Last few. Keep your movement going, so from here, yes, so slip up and through. Knee, slip to the outside, come through. Sand, sheep, go. Rook, slip up and through. Sitch, that's my front foot that time. And ash, and through. Change your stance, last little section, keep going warriors. So from here, guards up. Yes, slip to the outside, then come through. So that's my back foot. Knee, slip, and I step straight away that time. Sand, here, I move my front foot there. Didn't feel as comfortable that time though. She, slip up, so the back foot works much nicer for me. Go, there, that time was the front foot. Rock, that time was as well, that was better. Sitch, and ash, and through. We've gone through the slips on the inside and the outside. We're now gonna put it all together. So we're looking to move forwards, do that cross, move forwards in one of the three ways that you want to move through. Trying to mix it up here and there, but adding in a slip on the inside or a slip on the outside. And it's gonna be down to you on this one. So I'm just gonna give you a count. I just want you to take the lead and do either inside slip or outside slip, okay? So from here, get yourself ready around your hoop. A little bit of movement, ready, moving, itch. In. So there I did inside slip. Knee, the outside slip, went up the back foot. Sam, there I went forward with his leg at the same time after the inside slip. She, go, rock, sitch, ash, cur, and jur. Good, change stance on the other side. Same thing, guards up, light on those feet. Itch. So I start with an outside slip. Knee, inside slip. Sun, back foot came up after an outside slip. She, back foot came in after an inside slip. Sun, she, go, rock, sitch. Ash, ke, and je, and through. Change the stance, let's go through it again. Same thing, itch, knee, sand, sheep, go, rock, sitch, ash, ke, and jump through, change your stance, last set, keep going. Itch, went on the outside. Knee, sand, sheep, go, rock, sitch, ash, cur, and jump, and yame. Great job, warriors. Well, take those little workouts and do them yourselves. If you've got a punch bag, do it on a punch bag. See how you get on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Great. See you in the next one.